All right, you are still watching Ways. Now, United Nations Day, celebrated on October 24th each year to commemorate the entry into force of the United Nations Charter in 1945. The United Nations was established after the Second World War to promote international peace and security, develop friendly relationship, relations amongst nations, and achieve international cooperation to solve global problems. And see, it's even good that you're the one that is here today. <laughs> How well do you think the UN has done? I mean, ah, you know what they say, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. <laughs> Let me put it like that. Right. And um, for all its good intentions, of course, I mean, there is always um, politics in the scheme of things. And um, personally, I mean, I, I like the UN. Um, have they done an excellent job so far? Well, I, I may not necessarily have the right metrics for which to, you know, judge if they have done very well or if they have remained true, you know, to the, to the ethos of their, um, of why it was, of, of why established, it was established, you know, because we hear certain things happen, we see certain situations where you would think that the UN will make a stand and um, we don't hear anything, you know, they're silent on it and all that. So yes, there's been politics and um, that's obvious, that's unfortunately is very obvious mm. to people in that space and people who are truly watching. Can they do better? Absolutely. Mm. I mean, um, every day is an opportunity to do better. But um, in terms of um, if they have done anything, if we've seen their impact, I would say yes. Significantly. Really. Significantly, Significantly um, through the UN, its um, um, sister agencies, I think they're doing really good work. It can be better, but um, I think right now in terms of um, global, global like having a global collective, you know, to address global issues, security, peace, environmental issues and all that. A lot of the countries of the world are following, you know, the, the principles, maybe, or the policies of um, UN. And I think um, that's, that's something good, mm. really. I was just going to say that, I mean, like you rightly said, mm. the road to heaven is safe. <laughs> So, I mean, the road to hell is, is paved with a lot of goodies. Mm -hmm. Now, so it, it's the same thing with, so, so because why I asked this question is, I was watching a video yesterday, um, this Adiola, Adiola lady that is on YouTube that yeah. she's always talking about, so she was talking about pal Palestine oh, and yeah, Israel, yeah. and it seems like the whole thing, everybody's taking sides without having to dig into the history, the real history. as to why certain things are even, even um, happening in the first place. Sure. So, I mean... Um, yeah, every good intention, right? Everything starts with good intentions. Mm -hmm. like they said even the word, see, somebody that comes to steal from you now mm. or does something, you know, it's with good intention. Everybody has a good intention for what it is that they are doing. Yeah. But that does not mean certain actions are right, right or yeah. wrong. Yeah. I would yeah. say that the UN, they've done a tremendous work, like you rightly um, mm. alluded. They've done a, a tremendous work in impact. I mean, we talk about gender gender yeah. equality, equality and all of those I mean, things nowadays yeah, is because yeah. of the, UN, I mean, UN, I mean, we've talk, we talk about clean water, you know, talk about education, SDG, all I mean, the SDG really, goals and all really, of that. And really. if you check right now, there is absolutely no organization that wants to be taken seriously that is not focused on some of these sustainable development goals. I like agree. literally every organization have had to rework I their... Agree. Uh, what's the word now? They've had to re their rework culture, their culture. They've yeah. had to re rework their vision, their yeah. mission, I agree. you know, and all of that to to tie nicely around the SDG goal. So a lot of feet, a lot of the, the UN has done a lot in yeah. terms of like changing and transforming um, human lives, yeah. you know, based on certain policies and all the initiatives that they brought up forth. Um, so whilst we commend them for yeah. those great and tremendous things, I'd just like to add to what you've said. They should also look into some of these gray areas. Yeah. Because yeah. truth be told, right, uh, no matter what it is, 
no matter how great you are, there are still some things that you that's like a blind spot for mm -hmm, you. Mm. So maybe if you had not thought about it before, think about it again. Mm, because mm. again, sometimes now it's looking like the UN is an agenda setter. Exactly. Right? So they tell you where the world will be moving e in the exactly, direction and all of that. Exactly. So whilst we're doing that, make sure that you are you active. Are fair. Thank you. As a word. You are fair. Just be fair. Be fair. Yeah. You can't be seen you can't to politicize all the You can, you can, you can you never mean. be seen to like exactly. one over another. Exactly. You know, exactly. no matter what it is right now, the kinds of things that I, um, um, I am privy to or the position that I'm in today, there are some things that I cannot say I want to take sides. Absolutely. You just have to find a way Absolutely. to bring all parties and carry all parties. Yeah. And that fairness yeah. is, is, is the word. Is key. Yeah. Absolutely. So what yeah. did you find first in the news? Okay, um, this is um, more like a defamation story. Um, apparently, this is an ongoing um, investigation of a certain Tani Olong as he faces um, fresh charges. Um it, um, this story speaks of um, how, you know, people defame other people and use the social media, you know, to do it. Um, and um, I, think, um, I think this caught my attention because um, I know how easy it is for us to sometimes, which in fact, which speaks to my present situation. <laughs> for people to sometimes feel like, okay, just because you want to get back at a person or because you feel that you have the platform, you know, to say certain things, then it gives you the, um, um, the leeway, you know, to concoct stories or to say things that are not true, you know. And I just, I know that this is, I mean, this has messed up a lot of people's lives, you know, defamation of character because... The honest truth is some people don't even get the chance to say their yes, sir. To respond, yeah. To respond. And some people have missed opportunities because of things they heard that they don't even want to take the time to say, oh, I want to hear your sir. Is this true or not? Or just give the benefit of doubt. Ah. So, you know, me, I just want to say, <laughs> listen, defamation of character is, is a downward slope. Mm. It destroys lives. And we shouldn't, we shouldn't be caught around it. Mm. We shouldn't do it. I've been there before, mm. but uh, you know this thing, eh? I say sometimes I just thank God for the kind of scheme that he built. Mm. Mm. I'm actually tough, honestly, because mm. um, it, it will always happen. Absolutely. You know? but and, I mean, and guess what? It happens for different reasons. Yeah, right? from a place of jealousy, envy. I mean, of for, course, for of reasons. course. So, drum roll. This one is good news. Okay. I saw Ketensha's video. I said, so justice is possible in Nigeria? Mm. She said, my sister. Mm. <laughs> and she was crying inside the, in the court today when the sentence was being read. Wow. So, Olaleye mm. um, Femi, mm. Olu Femi, that's supposed to be a doctor, has been charged or sentenced to... Um, life imprisonment. Mm. Actually, he has two life sentences. Two life imprisonment. So if one... If he exhausts... One, <laughs> I say, what is sentence? Because wow. this is something... Ah, Diola. Rape. Oh, sexual no. it's a defilement. Crime. See, literally, I can kill somebody. Rape is... Excuse uh, my friend, but... You see, taking advantage of my body, mm. I don't even know how to explain it. If I gave you my body willingly, mm, fine. Mm. But you come and forcefully take advantage of my body. Mm. No, it's actually something that, mm. literally, <laughs> it, 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 it's something that I, I don't even know how to explain it. Mm. So he has bagged two um, life sentences. Mm. And it is for, what's it called, offense of defilement and offense of sexual penetration of a 15-year-old girl. And the judge held that the prosecution was able to prove its case beyond reasonable doubt. Mm. As all the evidence before the court corroborated that of the victim. Mm. Bravo. If you Bravo. haven't watched Kate Henshaw's video, I think, in fact, I even put it on my um, Instagram story. Mm. Watch it because she thanked everybody. Mm. And I want to specially thank the justice again. Yeah. Because, like she said, that she could not believe that we still had justice that were incorruptible. Because this person's 
actually tried to the point that even the lady, she mentioned her name now, where is that her name? The DPO that was in the Bagada uh, police station, mm. she was corrupt, you know, because that one was trying to hide evidence. They don't want to show this. You don't understand. Why? But thankfully, this, this justice, Ramon Oshodi, you know, was the one that I haven't listened to everything. He was in court at some point, you know, mm. just to hear everything. He gave the judgment and, you know, oh, his, bravo, um, bravo. you know why this actually really mm. hit me? Most this times you can't prove, you can't prove a rape. on waste, mm. right? Oh. Yes. In fact, Uti, Elsie and I, after the feature, we went to do, he has, do you know how many people this doctor has been um, screening for cervical cancer? He's, oh. a, he's an advocate. Kate Henshaw was his brand ambassador oh for cervical cancer. Goodness. So you know what was running through my head? You are a doctor of the intimate part of a woman. Yeah. Even if, see, let me tell you something. That is the, one of the most difficult um, positions to be in as yeah, a medical doctor. Yeah. There has to be a high level you, of integrity, integrity and ethics. Because I am Do you know how it I'm is? I'm vulnerable very, in that moment. So we've gone for cervical screening. So I was not thinking in my head, what if this man had like a a hidden camera just be yeah. checking it. if you are sick because upstairs pervert of course hey, pervert. Oh, of course what gives of and course. i told that camera is checking our whatever i said okay he snapped it and said the thing is actually clean and also we were even excited but when this story now broke, ah. I said, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and i can tell you for free this is not only even to minors i now started hearing stories of different people within the estate where he lived that that is his common practice he will come oh you know I have to test you, I have to screen you for this and all of that. When we went for the screening, in fairness, it was women that did it for me. But I'm saying that maybe there would have been a hidden camera somewhere. Yeah. So I am happy. Wow. And thank to, uh, I think, Cheshayera, um, what's it called? M Mirabel Center. Oh, the well, people, domestic oh, violence. Oh, they've been doing excellent work. Well, potential, all the people mm. that, you know, stood by this case. Thank you so much. Because wow. this is a win for all of us. And I want to beg. Mm. There's a young girl that was defiled in Delta State. I took that story. Mm. I was broken. I sent it to my friend in Delta State. The, the principal, first of all, used a scissors to cut her before he had what? a sexual, yes, intercourse with her. Please. Scissors. Delta State governor, these cannot sleep. We have to make examples, wow. more examples, so that when people bag like me, I even prefer. First of all, castrate him yeah. before yeah, you have send to him to life imprisonment. Yeah. That's the kind of punishment me yeah. I want. Yeah. But I'm happy that this has happened. Yeah. Two life sentences. There's more to come. Mm. For all these people raping people, there's more to come. Mm. All right, we'll take a break now. Because um, the second story I want to talk about, I'll just mention it when we have the conversation. Oh, oh, okay. Stay with us, we'll be right back.